Hey everyone, it's Caitlin with Glitter Chimp coming to you from the new soon to be finished Glitter Chimp studio to do a awesome tutorial that I know you guys have been begging for and that is on our wooden phone stands which of course when you get them they look like this and they're just wood um so I'm going to show you guys how to do these and it's going to be a quick fun tutorial I'm really excited uh yeah so let's go ahead and get this turned down so you guys can see how it's done okay so I have my blank phone stand here um what i'm going to do is just prep it which by prepping it is i'm going to paint it uh this either side you can use it's not like a set thing in stone if you have a lot of this edging on here you can just sand this with some sandpaper it'll be good to go otherwise you can paint both sides um for me because this is just going to be used in our warehouse um i'm just going to go and paint these two sides and the colors i'm going to be using is actually going to be juniper and lavender ice and i'm going to do these on a black and green base so i need my fancy fancy paintbrush that you guys know i love to use so much i use this paintbrush for everything um so let's get started. So I just have, this is, everyone has that collection of paint that they have had for years. So that's what I have. I've got some water here and I'm just gonna get started. So um, the plan is to ombre these two colors together. Uh, I'm gonna do the green on the top and the purple glitter, uh, lavender ice on the bottom. So I'm using a black base because this way you guys can kind of see too. Lavender Ice is one of those colors that I'm kind of like, it's a quiet, like this one's a good one. Like people, it's, you know, it's one of those, it's in the same family as Tears of My Enemies, but the difference is it's just Lavender Ice um, and it's going to have the same effect. So on a black base, Lavender Ice actually will turn purple, like a dark purpley blue. And I just love how it looks. So gonna go with lavender ice and um juniper so all you have to do is start painting and you can use spray paint um I mean you can just leave it plain just paint it white it doesn't really matter I'm going with this color these because I don't have green spray paint here so if I really want to I could spray paint the bottom half black but for all in video purposes we're just going to go ahead and just use regular paint. Okay, so I've got my green. And now I'm going to go ahead and do the black. And no, I did not clean my brush. I'm just going to use the other side. all of the brown edges all right I'm gonna ombre up the black and I'm gonna brush down a little bit more on the green kind of blend that out a bit more All right, so that part's done. Now I'm just gonna paint this whole thing here black. And I don't paint the edges, I just cover the top part surface that's going to be basically showing on someone's desk or 
whichever and you know I don't want to put stuff on the back side if I don't need to but for those of you who make these and sell these at like craft shows the cool thing is is you can put your logo or whatever you want on the back here or even underneath the feet so that's now painted so we're gonna let this dry and then we'll come back and do the next coat which is the first coat of epoxy with adding glitter so we will be back in just a second and then you're going to basically just dump the excess glitter off of the phone holder. I always love doing this because then I end up with one hand. All right, pour the glitter back in the jar. And now we're going to go over the black with lavender ice. Come on, lid. Nope. Okay. All right. So now we're going to just turn that around and start using lavender ice on the bottom. So that's now done there, but I'm gonna still ombre it up a bit. So just gonna sprinkle going up. All right, so now that is coated. So I'm gonna set this off the side and I'm gonna come back to that in just a second and I'll show you why. But I just want to go ahead and get the glitter on this part. All right, so the glitter is now on the part down here at the bottom that's going to show. And that's basically where your phone will sit. So what happens, though, is you'll if you can kind of see pieces of the glitter hang off the edge... And I just go through here and to save myself having to do any trimming or anything else, um, I either push them off or knock them off. It just depends on how far off the edges they are. Typically you can just push them right back on there. And that way my edges are just nice and smooth. I don't have to sand anything or do anything extra to it. So that one's now done. Now I'm going to go through and do on this one. And any pieces, if they, for some reason, I don't catch that they're sticking out, um, I just cut them off with an X-Acto knife if I need to. So I don't have to worry about sanding anything on there. All right, now the fun part the inside. So what I actually do is take a small popsicle stick and basically do the same thing. Just kind of tap everything in place for where it needs to be so that there's nothing, there's no epoxy or anything in the, in the slot. So now what I'll end up doing is letting these cure and then I will come back to these later this afternoon to put the top coat of epoxy on these and we will come back to show that once these have cured.
Okay, so these are both now dry. So we're gonna go ahead and go in with our second coat of epoxy to cover the glitter, seal the glitter in place. And just like you would doing the first layer, you just pour the epoxy on top and smooth it out so it's a nice, you know, even layer covering the entire phone stand. Trying not to go over the edges. But if you go over the edge, don't worry about it. You can go back in and clean that up very quickly and easily after you're finished. So that's nice and coated. So now we're going to go over the base here. I'm going to do it just like you did the same thing. You're only going to put the epoxy on where the glitter is so that the phone stand can be still assembled. So now that's nice and coated. I did wipe off. I had a little bit that spilled a little, went a little too far south of where the line of glitter was, but that's totally fine. Just went ahead and wiped it off. Gonna get the rest of this epoxy out of the cup. Don't wanna waste any epoxy. I missed, um, just so you know, I mixed 15 milliliters of epoxy total on in that cup to use on here. So just gonna get that spread on here. Make sure everything is covered. And we are good to go. So we're going to hit this with a little bit of heat to pop some of those micro bubbles that are there. I do not recommend holding it while you do this. All right, so now we're gonna let that cure. And when we get back, we'll show you how to do the next steps and we will be all finished. Okay, so this is dry, cured, awesome, ready to go. So what I'm actually gonna do is, I'm actually making basically best friend versions of a phone stand. So this one's going to say that you are the Louise to my Thelma. The other one's going to say you are the Thelma to my Louise. So let's get this set on here and I'll show you guys all the next steps. I don't know why I already put on a glove, but whatever. Sorry guys. I can't do it with a glove on. Why did I put on a glove? Okay. 
so I just did a white vinyl, not anything too fancy or anything on here because the glitter speaks for itself. It didn't want to stick. This transfer tape is extra sticky. Made the bees, there we go. All right, so I have now that placed. So I'm going to, since I did just touch like all over that, quick little wipe down with some alcohol. As I almost spill my epoxy. All right, so I have the decal on there. So I'm going to put on a pair of gloves again and put the final coat of epoxy on this. And just like on a tumbler, you want a nice thin, even coat. And I only mixed um, 10 milliliters of epoxy for this coat. So now that's done. Um, I am not going to put any extra epoxy on this bottom piece here. And that is because we're actually going to use Quick Coat, which is a urethane sealer. You can use polyacrylic or any other type of a sealer on the back here. Um, and also, you don't even have to seal it if you do not want to. Um, the one I have over here, which is the Sunflower, um, the back of it is not sealed and you don't. You don't have to, it's fine if you don't. Um, but I'm going to, so you guys can just kind of see other things that you can do here. So I have my my little uh, synthetic paintbrush. Just going to brush this on here in a nice layer, nothing too crazy. Kind of just helps give it like a little extra shine, seals in the color and stuff. But this way, if you use this type of a product, it doesn't add to the height of the back wood. So of the foot, I guess is what you could call it. Um, but it does at least seal the wood and add a nice shine to the back. But again, you don't have to seal the back if you don't want to.
And that is all you have to do for these. They're really quick and easy. For those of you who do craft shows, these are great because you can do them for like local schools in your area, colleges, just put the, you know, a nice logo on it, teacher ones, these would be great. Um, you know, make a nice pencil look or something. But these are just really cool. They're great gifts for teachers. Um, I mean, anybody really who works in an office setting, especially they can have it on their desk to hold their phone. And um, it'll even hold an iPad if you wanted to, so you could use it in your kitchen if you're putting like a recipe or something on there. But that's how these are done. They're really quick and simple. And I love making these because they're just kind of a nice gift. So I have now this beautiful green and purple one, which again was using juniper on top with a green base. And this is lavender ice on the back with a black base. And that is how it is done. I'll post pictures of them both when they're done so y'all can see them side by side. Okay, so that is how you make the phone stands that we have. And once they're finished, they look great. You end up with this really nice big back piece for your phone. And then you have your uh, feet, which is what holds the phone and stand up. You just slide that in there and boom, sit it down. You're good to go. So the ones that y'all watched me make are these two twins, which is the You're the Louise to my Thelma and You're the Thelma to my Louise. These are going on Keely and I's desk. Um, I'm really excited about these. But just for fun, I did make a couple extras just to kind of show you different things that can be done with them. Um, I made this one, which says adjust your crown and handle it. This one I used, um, rain of fire and coattails, but then I added, um, Liberty Bell to the, the next layer of epoxy. And then when I put the decal on, on top of that, I added snow caps. So it makes the vinyl sparkle without adding any color to it, which is really cool. Um, so I have this nice little bitty one here. And then of course, um, some of you may have seen, I made a post on Facebook that my dad actually stole the one I made for my mom, which is all glittery and purple and stuff. So not really my dad's colors. Um, so I actually made him one for his office. And, um, so what I did with this one is this is his company's name, LPT security consulting. Um, anyways, so I did a wood grain on the back, which I realize you're like, it's wood. Why would you do that? Um, just cause it needed just me staining this really didn't do much. So I actually just brushed it with alcohol ink until I got it to where it kind of looks more like a nice oak, like a dark oak wood. And then um, I actually put Aries on here. So it gets that nice orange to gold shift on it. And I put it on the part that'll hold his phone. So I have that one, which I have to put in the mail today for him. Um, so he's really excited about that. And then one that um, we've also had done is the um, the sunflower one. And it's just a really nice, it's just a nice sunny, happy one. These are just some stickers um, that we've bought at the store. Um, but so there you guys go. I mean, these are really great, simple, super easy to make. You can do these. They're great as for Christmas, which is coming up soon for, I mean, just about anybody, teachers, people that work in offices, just for at home when your phone's charging because it has, sorry, this little slot here so you can charge it while it's, you know, on the stand. Um, so you can put it by your nightstand, but in your kitchen, great for iPads. So for those of you who do cook, you can put your iPad on there and have your recipes right there um, or baking and stuff, um, on the stand. So again, these are really simple, easy, great way to like throw a gift together for someone, if, you know, for a last minute gift. Teachers would love these. They're just, they're really nice. And that's, that's why they make me happy because they're super easy to make and they look great. It gives you a little sparkle on your desk if you want it to sparkle or not. So, um, so yeah, so these, these are the phone stands, really easy to use. I can't wait to see the ones that you guys come up with because y'all are creative as all get out. And I mean, the stuff that you guys design is insane. So really looking forward to seeing what you guys can make. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the bottom and hit that little notification bell so you never miss a video. And we will get some more videos up hopefully by the end of this week. So you guys have a great rest of your day.